This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. In patients with COPD and severe resting hypoxemia, that is an oxygen saturation of 88% or less, the long-term use of supplemental oxygen outside the hospital is known to reduce mortality. But the benefit of long-term oxygen treatment for COPD patients with less severe hypoxemia is unclear. In a multi-center trial that amended its original design to broaden its eligible population, investigators randomized patients with stable COPD and moderate resting desaturation or moderate exercise-induced desaturation to either long-term oxygen treatment or no long-term oxygen treatment. For the patients randomized to long-term oxygen treatment, those with resting moderate desaturation were prescribed 24-hour oxygen therapy, and those with moderate exercise desaturation only received oxygen during exercise and sleep. Of the 738 patients randomized, 133 had resting desaturation, 319 had exercise desaturation, and 286 had both types of desaturation. Of the 368 assigned to long-term oxygen treatment, 220 received 24-hour oxygen therapy, and 148 received oxygen during sleep and with exercise. The mean self-reported oxygen use in the long-term oxygen treatment group was 13.6 hours per day as compared with 1.8 hours per day in those not assigned to long-term oxygen treatment. With a median follow-up of 18.4 months, the primary composite outcome of time to death or all-cause first-time hospitalization was not different in those assigned to long-term oxygen treatment and those who were not, with a hazard ratio of 0.94 and a p-value of 0.52. There were also no differences in quality of life, lung function, and walk distance between the treatment groups. Prescription of long-term oxygen treatment to patients with stable COPD and moderate resting or exercise-induced desaturation did not affect time to death or all-cause first-time hospitalization. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.